Denver Nuggets make another roster move here, and they signed James Ennis to the 10-day hardship exception. So Ennis, over the last few weeks here, he's bounced around from team to team. He was with the Nets on the 10-day hardship, then the Clippers, and now he lands here with the Denver Nuggets. So I think, Ennis, it's only going to be another 10-day thing until guys come back here for this Nugget team. So in the short stints on the season, 6.3 points a game, 2.5 rebounds, 0.83s a game at 50% from the field. So Ennis, he only appeared in two games pretty much here over the last few weeks and January 1st in that ball game 10 points four rebounds a steal 42 percent from the field in January 30 played 12 minutes at Dallas 10 points a rebound and two threes in the block so last season Ennis I thought he was pretty decent with the Orlando Magic he did have 8.4 points a game four rebounds an assist and a half a game 1.13s and 47 percent from the field but this season he just can't latch on with a team for whatever reason. But right now, he lands with Denver. He'll be available to play in tonight's game. But right here, we haven't seen not enough of him, in my opinion, to have fantasy value at all. So right now, you keep him on the waiver wire. But I think it's a good depth move and a good veteran presence here for this Denver Nugget team that could also use a little bit more outside shooting. So James Ennis on his third team for the season here. And maybe this could be the time where he finally latches on and stays with a roster. But I doubt it. So right here, we'll see what he could do with Denver and if he could stay past the 10-day contract that he's on.